Hi everybody, I'm Funny Bits and welcome to Kona. Um, and if you are joining us for the first time, then welcome. Please, you know, stick around. Um, we just got to. We are actually uh, start. This is like fourth episode of this, so yeah, welcome if you are just joining us. Uh, so quick update. Then basically, this is Carl. Carl is a private detective. He got a invitation to investigate from a Mr. Hamilton. We have just, we had just recently found out Mr. Hamilton has been shot. We know that now because of the evidence that we have collected. So yeah, we are a private detective and we're on this case of trying to find out who may have killed him. Uh, we In the last episode we found um, this medical file. Let's see, have a quick look at this. Yeah, the unknown woman. Um, and it's disinteresting. Uh, it's this, the interesting thing at the bottom of this is that I've been told to step back from sending out the death certificate. This whole thing sickens me. Yeah, so he, the doctor was just warned from whatever reason, do not send out this death certificate for some reason. I don't know why. Um, we've got a we got a clipping of that. Where was it? Oh, yeah, we had it just a second ago. You are kidding me with this, right? Yeah, there we go. A uh, sample of the stain sheet. So that was the woman. She bled out, it seems. And, uh, yeah, so we're on this investigation then as to who may have killed Hamilton. There's also the, uh, Jill guy. Was it the Jill guy? That was a note here. I never actually read this. So let's have a look. What does it say? There should be a law forbidding doctors from falling sick. Uh, medical emergency in town. The doctor there is sick. I'll be back soon. If he dies, I won't be returning. I'll have to replace him. Oh, okay, so that's why the doctor has decided to uh, leave. Okay, uh, what's this? Alright, um. Did I see on my map there was a. The car was supposed to be here somewhere, but. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. Yeah, but we basically walked here last time, so I, I, for some, I, I wouldn't expect it to be here, in all honesty. Um, I haven't actually explored around this area too much because we was freezing our ass off, as it were. Uh, yeah, so apparently the car's here. I don't know why. I don't know where it's supposed to be here, but apparently it's supposed to be here. Maybe there was a way in which it could have got here. Um, and, oh, wait a minute, is it down there? Is that what it's referring to? No. Great care had to be taken searching this place full of oddities. Everything was important. The decor itself told a story. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, so what have we got? We've got some bolts and things. I don't know. What fire starters? That's about it. That's all I can take from that. Anything can... There's a plant pot. See, nothing in here of any real interest. Okay. So we're going to explore then. We're going to carry on looking around for any more evidence as to who or whom had killed Mr. Hamilton and why. Okay, so I can't go any further that way on, from this uh, little pier thing. Um, let's get back up to here. I can't really see any of anything of any real interest. Um, there, there we go. Something in the mailbox. Oh, uh, the only thing there and there, I think, was the key, I think. Yeah. What does that say? Move carpet. It just says move carpet. That's all it says. Okay, if I... Well, I'll just ex double check. Let's make sure I think I have got pretty much everything. The radio turns on. Don't need to listen to the radio as much. There's the eye patch. Managed to got some wire for the... Cum uh, for the magnet that I'd found. Uh, yeah, some... Rather crude instruments there, but I guess they're just really for the emergencies, so that the patients can be taken care of. Obviously, this is the main doctor t uh, doctor's town. If I actually search in here, I don't know sure if I did. First aid kit. There we go. Didn't actually, oh, didn't actually search there the last time I was here. What's this? Did I actually manifest? Uh, communist manifesto. Only a few years ago, this type of allegiance meant prison time. Oh. And even at present, the Western world was very wary of the Soviet threat. Oh. Why would the doctor own such a book? Why indeed? Why would Nobody he? kills a rich patient to start a revolution. It didn't make any sense. He had to dig deeper still to understand. 
Luckily, that was Carl Volbert's specialty. Yeah, it was indeed. Uh, okay, so the history of all uh, Hethero's. His, his, what? Hethero. Hethero. I can't. I can't speak. I can't read. Um, Existence. Oh, sorry, Mike. No, there we go. Just adjust my mic slightly. Yeah, well, you, hopefully you won't hear anything there, yeah, but there you go. Uh, Existing society is the history of class struggling freemen and slave uh, petition and uh, per. Pleb. Pleban. Pleban Lord? Pleban Lord? Is that how you pronounce it? Pleban Lord? And, like I said, I couldn't really read it, so yeah. yeah. Guild Master and Journeyman. In a world are oppressed and oppressed, oppressor and oppressed, stood in constant opposition to one another's crown down the um, uninterrupted, now hidden, now open fight. A fight that each time ended either in the revolutionary uh, rec reconstitutions of society at large or in the common ruin of the condescending classes in the in the earlier uh, epochs of history we find almost everywhere in a com complicated arrangement of society into various orders a manifesto mani manifold generation of social rank in ancient Rome we have uh, partitions partitions knights ple plebeians ple 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 slaves in the Middle Ages, feuds, lords, vessels, guild masters, journeymen, apprentices, self, uh, surfers, surfers. I told you, I'm <laughs> really struggling to read in this one. In almost all of th uh, these classes, again, subsonate generations. You read it yourself, so. <laughs> right, screw it. Um, oh, there's another thing there as well. Did I, I did not look in this? A chamber pot. Fortunately for Carl, inspecting it wouldn't further this particular investigation. Right, okay, fine. Right, done. And three packets. For some reason, we needed those. Right. Um. So, yeah, I'm going to move on now. Let's go to the next house because I think we need to go. Uh. We, yeah. Old old Rosaire. Well, that's where we're going then. We'll bring up the map again. So I need to follow that pathway. So if I leave here. Oh, it opens inwards here. Yeah. Right, so we're gonna walk down to the down the pathway and get the to the car. There it is, there's my truck. Yeah, so obviously it spawns. Yeah, I walked here last time. I didn't know that there was a way. There didn't seem to be a way in which I could actually have uh, driven through, which is so that's why I walked. So, uh, facing. Oh crap. Did it mean to do that? Right. Map. Map. Oh. I am almost facing out. Just if I go down and then just to my. Down this way. Well, now, now my car's here, it doesn't really make a difference. I can travel now safely, eh? a lot more safely than I did before. Which, luckily enough, for anyone, um, if you'd see the last episode, you'll know that I skipped ahead a lot of it. So it didn't really make, you didn't have to see, you didn't have to put up with that, but it did mean that by the time I actually got to the doctor's house, I was near to death, I don't know, I think, certainly. Yeah. Uh, um, there we go, Rosier's house. So we get out here. Although it's a little bit far, I just want to. I didn't want to go. I want to go to here. That's why. Oh, we've got a lot to explore around. Okay, right. So where's anything in unlock? No, I can't unlock that. So there may be a key inside the main house. So we'll go and check out the main house. We're well, warm enough for now. Okay, there's a little thing down there as well. Holy crap! Whoa, okay, boy. Whoa. 
All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Was I not? Whoa. Man with a shotgun, dude. What the actual heck? Hello? So you haven't left your house? Okay. Uh, what do we do about that? I guess we just leave him alone and. Um. Hello, sir. Do you mind? Oh, hello? Hello? He's looking right at us. He don't, he don't like us, does he? he wants us to, yeah, I just want to ask a few questions, perhaps. I'm going to look in your trash can then. Yeah, your trash is um, pretty cool. Um, it's good. It's, a, it's, it's, it's an all in order. So, yeah, I'm going to go. Should I do that again? I don't know if he's going to shoot me or not. To be honest, i got a feeling... Hello? Can we not... Do we speak? So, you're the first person I've actually met in this whole adventure. Je m'attendais pas à ce qu'un étrange genre ton tisse par ici. Moi te dire, je prends plus de chance depuis que ça rôde dans ce bout-là. J'ai ma carabine au bout du doigt, et puis bang, 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 si ça s'approche. <laughs> okay. I, you were speaking way too fast, sir, so I'm, I'm going to ask. Si tu veux du if you need warm clothes, city boy, I wouldn't stay in a bottle of carbon. Uh, uh, <laughs> got rags suit you. Okay, trade. Ah, trade. Trade. Oh, for coat. Ah. I don't have anything. Uh, oh, no, wait, I do. Is it in the trunk? Uh, no, crap. Wrong button. Right. Equipment. Oh, it's not here, is it? It's in the back. Back. Is it consumables? Bottle of beer. Bottle of uh, He what, doesn't want beer, does he? No, did he just. Did I just drink that? <sighs> All right. Okay. The key's there. I'm not sure if I can actually touch anything whilst he, is he going to watch me and just like shoot at me? I mean, you know, if a stranger walks into your house, to be fair, he's right to have a gun. I mean, like you know, I know he's, we're in Canada and he's like, you know, that's fine. Why would you? I don't know what else to do. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, hey, listen up, everyone's uh, going crazy guy over here, right? Okay, I'll, I'll be back. Um, I don't know. I don't think I picked anything up. Let's have a quick look. There was so much in this cabin to enrich body and mind. Carl couldn't leave empty-handed. All right, I couldn't leave empty-handed, but it would be uh, withdrawal. No withdrawal. Anything. What have I got? Water. Bottle of beer. Uh, crap. Well, it looks like I drank the the beer. Okay. Am I supposed to come back to you later then? Fuck it. Oh, I don't know. I guess it may be. Rosier's house. Oh. See, I think whatever he's... He, he might have something in that cabin as well, because there's a key there. He's looking for... Okay, damn. Do you not have anything around here? So I'm guessing I might have to come back. I'm taking the log. Alright. Screw you. I'm taking a log. I get a feeling that I'm... Should I go back in? Oh, what do I do? I actually don't know. Do you know what? I'm going to go back inside. Get me a gallon of... Or else you can go... <laughs> Towers and Legends. Can you see that book over there? That's the the Windigo. Yeah, the Windigo. Windigo. What? A warrior who turns into a wolf out of vengeance. That. Okay. Uh There was a time when I uh, hate waged war. Our hunters could de declamate the great wolves who had taken our children, our warriors, uh, 
could snap the necks of the cowards. You, know, you walk, you walk, you walk, you walk, you walk, you smell your feet. Oh, right, okay. What was that? Uh, trying to weed, re re weed or read even. Can't even speak, can't read. Can't even say the word re weed, read, weed. There you go. Ah, oh, our children, my brothers, there's rock, snack, bam. I uh, hate blood. Ah, uh, okay. Where could the bomb you have here? And you got the legend of the Wendigo dates back to a time before what anyone but the tallest trees can remember. A time of great cold and great aspirations. When the ships came and swept men off their fire cannons, plunge uh, plagues the ship. I charge you for wearing out my floor. Funny man, funny man. Uh, okay, blah, 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 right, um, there you go, red, done. What is this say? Look at the sweet rose. Ash Wednesday, terrible fight. Oh, it's every time I do that. You don't use a young man. What's this, this? Apparently, la Corriveau, ah, no. Batters, ça te passe l'envie de te marier, la Corriveau. A tué tous ces maris, squeak, les uns après les autres. Pas de pitié dans le mariage. Well, obviously, the key's there. Limit, uh, look here. Looking in my shed. Waste your time looking in my trash <laughs> as you bring some. Alright. Don't need that camera. So I can just take it. Right, well, alright. You've told me about the trash. A clue to look in there. So apparently I'll just go around stealing pe from people now. Is that that's now become a thing? Well, I think I couldn't see myself. Max, not too shabby. Carl felt he needed to protect himself. Yeah, but from what? I've I found an axe, a gun, bullets. This is um some crazy stuff right now. Okay. Why do I need an axe? I'm gonna go swing the hatchet. Alright, okay. So maybe I'm gonna need trees or something? I don't know. If it be any, no. Right, uh, so unless I can... The coat's gonna come in handy at some point, but I don't have what he wants. So... There, Carl had fed his mind. But had forgotten the harsh reality that his body also needed nourishment, especially in the dead of winter. Uh, where do we go? Well, we're gonna have to come out of here and go round past the. We'll just continue going round it. All right. I'll leave the old man for now, and once I get what I need. Or what he needs, we'll, we'll come back because I don't think I've got it on it on me. I do believe I am going the right way. Let's just double check I am indeed. So the next house should be up on my left hand side, I believe. House of the Patriots. Right, so we are here now. Step out. We're going to investigate this and see what we have. Looks like a uh, copper piping or some sort, does it? Yes, it looks like copper piping. Right, so that truck had obviously seen its share of gravel roads. Carl wasn't a mechanic, but he could easily tell that only the most heartfelt prayer would bring this old Peter back from its slumber. With that cold, however, it was more likely that it would wait until next spring to wake up. 
Right, so the car is obviously uh, screwed one. We've got Daniel, we've got an axe. Again, another axe. So maybe I could have just. Could I have picked that up? Oh, I'm um, full. Oh, okay. Uh, damn. So I couldn't pick anything else up. Matches, obviously, they, they're stackable then. Right. Uh, okay, so before I move on, we we'll obviously have to transfer some stuff from the infantry into Carl's truck here. Yeah. Okay, now I've deposited some stuff into the. You know, is anyone home? Huh? The place looked more like a pigsty than a house. A heavy stench of curdled milk, cheap alcohol, and boiled cauliflower filled the air. Right. Okay, what have we got over here? Rock music invaded the minds of men even in the remotest of places. The man didn't own a turntable though, so there's that going for him. Why well, wash dishes and what clean ones are moving in reach? Okay, it's just probably a little bit gross, but nothing inside these cupboards. In there. Very little inside any of the cupboards I've found so far. Usually the drawers are the place to find things, but on this occasion, no. A gun rack. A gun, okay. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. Ah, now if I had a bottle, maybe I could do that. That's what he wants. Okay, so I might be able to make something. Right, so I need to prepare. Okay, so I've got that. You had to be out of your mind to cook up white whiskey at home. The all surrounding stench of alcohol alone was probably enough to gas a man to death. Sure. Right. So if I can. What's this? Wait a minute. Carl now knew how to quench the drunkard's thirst. Sherry wine for added mellowness. Spices to taste just a tiny bit. That isn't a stew. Okay, so white whiskey then. So that's, that's the ingredients that I need to find. I'm guessing now I'm going to have to search around, find those, and then come back. Oh, what have we got here? Is it a journal of some sort? Seems like that pig had a name after all. Okay, so we've got someone else added to our list. Let's have a look what we've got inside here. Clothing. What's this? Back then, in Africa and elsewhere, People were ready to take up arms to stand against the yoke of English imperialism. Oh. In Montreal, mailboxes were blown up, abductions were carried out, and violent manifestos were distributed to media outlets. But around here, in the great northernmost, all a man could do is curse out loud against the faraway evil and pray for the revolution to arise. That man, by any reckoning, was from that very stock. Okay, cool. Quebec liberation will happen by force or not at all. Will we will prevail? Okay. Uh, nothing else I can take from that. No. Right. I guess I could make. Let's well, light a fire so that every house is warmed. Every house that I can get to. Uh, I think that is it. That is all I can do here. Uh, unless, I've, unless I can get some stuff that, that is acquired, some of the ingredients, I, I'm pretty much screwed. Mm. So I need an empty bottle, which I've got. That's fine. More of these. Blue ice, which is something that I've been finding quite a lot of. What's over here? Target! Okay, so... With a homemade shooting range such as this, 
It wasn't hard to imagine a stray bullet ending its course inside the flesh of an unsuspecting passerby. Granted, Carl thought, there wasn't much in the way of passersby around here. Well, someone could have been hit. Maybe the woman had a shot. The woman! She if Carl had at any point wished to get his hands on some caribou, he couldn't have wished for better than a distillery like this one. Yeah, sure. We know that. But yeah, the woman from the last, from the last uh, place that was full of doctors, she was found with uh, a body. Um, so yeah, maybe there was some... Ah, that may be explains maybe explains why okay cigarettes and well okay whatever that maybe explains why they didn't want anything else to be said about it because if they was discovered as to have been the ones responsible they garbage might. trucks rarely made a stop in the area yeah, Thankfully, okay. the lake served as a pretty good backup dump for those times when the bins started overflowing. But, but yeah, as I was saying, so that that um, could be, be proven. Like being a close close knit um, sort of community and stuff, like you are not gonna you you don't want to um, accuse any of your people people in the area to sort of like oh yeah you know state she, she was shot by a drunken person, you know, so that could be a reason why they may, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Alright, I'm going to go from here. So yeah, that could, that could close that as a case then. Alright. Carl shivered as he saw the emblem. The Patriot flag used during the 1837 rebellion and which had resurfaced in 1970s Quebec, flown proudly by the FLQ terrorist groups. This flag meant bombs, kidnappings, threats in the papers. It was a sign of rebellion. Check. Right, so let's um, we'll move on then. We, we know, now know where it is we need to be. So we need to go, we we'll go to the next house and We'll probably end up finishing up at the old at that house, I think. Now that house is I think it's along this way. Right. Can I go on any further here? Maybe not. Doesn't look like I can. I'm in a mailbox though. Right, call me sec. What does this say? Right, dear Mr. Lomoff. Lomoff. Uh, here's the spark plug you ordered for your Olympic ski doll. doll. Uh, this model, being very popular, has made it it difficult to find a brand new part as quickly as usual thank you for choosing the garage potvin and fields in chobo chobo is that how you i don't know how you pronounce these words it's not words i've come across sincerely gretan gretan potvin potvin okay. it was so cold Already, Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Yes. Okay, thank you. I was trying to read that without laughing me out of because I was sinking down. Right, I'm just breaking in now. Breaking in an entry, that's what we do. Apparently, that's the thing. Right. The moths. Garage. Right. We need to get inside because heck, it is going to be cold. Right, 
The milk was sorted by color, from the whitest to the greenest, or in other words, from the precious to the sourest. Hamilton, I won't be your dog anymore. Right, so someone's got a bit of a thing about Hamilton. Snow ski, uh, snowmobile ski. Chimes. Right, I'm gonna need to get inside. Hopefully there's no one with a shotgun. No, there isn't, good. Uh, let's find a way to heat up. There has to be a stove around it, there has to be, there it is. Right, so I'm gonna start this stove and then there we go. Right, I'm going to warm up. And we will continue our investigation in the next episode, I think. Okay, right, we've got a lot to look at in it when we do come back. So that is all I've got time for in this episode. we almost got our head blown off, which is a... F um, Bit of a shock, bit of a surprise, but uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, who knew? I thought I thought the whole town had been evacuated, but there you go. Um, he needs some sort of um, whiskey to keep him going, and then he'll give us something in exchange. I think it's a coat in exchange, so, which I'm hoping to do that in the next episode. So I'm collecting clues. Now we discovered that I think the, the woman's death was an accident, but we're still no mercs, not much closer to the uh, killer of Hamilton, but it... This seems like it could hold some evidence towards that, given the writing on the front of this cabin. So yeah, anyway, we're going to leave it here. Thanks very much for joining me in this episode. If you liked it, hit the like button. Don't forget to leave any comments that you got down in the comment section. Leave any suggestions as well down, down there as well. And like I say, we hope to see you all again in the next episode. So thanks for watching, and see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.